Hey everyone, welcome back to Airstream Expeditions. My name is Julio, and in today's episode, we're exploring Red Rock Country here in Sedona, Arizona. In today's episode, we'll be taking a Jeep excursion tour, we'll be doing some stargazing, and also exploring some beautiful Red Rock sandstone buttes. So stick around and come hang out with us as we explore Sedona, Arizona. Sedona is a desert town located just two hours north of Phoenix and 45 minutes south of Flagstaff. The area is famous for its red rock, sandstone buttes, and all of its outdoor adventures. You definitely know when you're approaching Sedona as you drive down the Red Rock Scenic Byway, a 15 mile drive with beautiful views that will leave you in awe. The Red Rock Scenic Byway is that rare road that stands as an attraction in its own right. You can easily drive down the entire route up and down, back and forth as many times as you like, while enjoying what is in essence a free tour through a breathtaking portion of the country. Along the way, you'll see Sedona's famous landmarks such as Cathedral Rock, Chapel of the Holy Cross, Bell Rock, and much, much more. All throughout the drive, you'll have great views of the Red Rock landscapes that make Sedona world famous. However, Red Rock Scenic Byway is more than just a collection of nice views. It's also your gateway to many of the area's most popular attractions and amenities. A great number of hiking trails and biking paths are easily accessible directly from the Red Rock Scenic Byway and also the majority of Sedona's many dining and lodging options. Sedona didn't really become developed until the 1960s when it became a tourist destination, vacation home, and retirement center. Most of the development seen today was constructed in the 1980s and 90s. Our home base for the next three nights was the Rancho Sedona RV Park, a peaceful and tranquil setting shaded by sycamore and cottonwood trees situated along Oak Creek. The park is situated within walking distance to galleries, shops, and restaurants, and is only about one mile away from Uptown Sedona. It's a beautifully maintained campground with spacious sites, including full hookups, a picnic table, cable TV, and Wi-Fi. I didn't even have to connect to the Wi-Fi because the cell phone signal was great. There are no fire pits because campfires are not allowed in the park. Every site in the park has a beautiful setting. However, there are premium sites that are located right next to the creek where you can hear the peaceful sound of the flowing water from Oak Creek. Prices range from $72 to $124 per night. This depends on the site that you choose. We paid $88 per night when we were there in April of 2023. The park offers barbecue areas, a pet run, a couple of horseshoe pits, a tetherball court, and a volleyball court. Other amenities include hot showers, clean restrooms, and even laundry facilities. It's a tranquil setting, and it was nice walking around the park and exploring the creek area. The water from the creek was flowing a lot faster than it did a few years ago when we visited for the first time. Like California, Arizona received an abundance of rainfall in the winter of 2023. The spring snowmelt has resulted in higher water levels and rapid flowing streams and rivers. Or 
we could do the two hikes, get something to eat, and then take the electric bike, see how much that is. So Sedona is an international dark sky community. Right now we're going stargazing through eveningskytours.com. They have a team of astronomers with high powered telescopes so that we can go ahead and look at the planets, the stars, and anything else we can see out there. Thanks to the strict ordinances on light pollution, the dark skies over Sedona are ideal for stargazing. Sedona Stargazing offers night sky tours offered by professional astronomers who can point out constellations and planets. They use state-of-the-art telescopes and high-powered laser pointers to guide you around the night sky. When we were there, we were able to see various constellations and planets like Venus and the rings of Saturn. We also saw Sirius, which is the brightest star in the night sky. As of April of 2023, the cost per adult was $117 and $76 per child. If you're ever in the Sedona, Arizona area, Booking a night sky tour is a must. You can book a tour by visiting www.eveningskytours.com. We're here at Pink Jeep Tours getting ready for our off-road adventure through the Broken Arrow Trail. Broken Arrow Trail is one of the best 4x4 off-road trails in all of Sedona. After driving a quarter mile down a dirt road, you will encounter the very first rock formation, which you'll have to climb up. This is the first of many adventurous rock climbing obstacles to come. As the guide drives you down the trail to the first stop, he explains the history of the area and points out different flora and fauna. After a mile down the dirt road, we stopped at Submarine Rock. When you arrive, it looks like a giant slab of orange rock. Later in the drive, as you climb up higher in elevation and have a higher vantage point, you then realize that it really does look like a submarine. <laughs> this is Chapel's Butte. Right, Chapel's Butte. Our next stop was Chicken Point, a picturesque viewpoint where you can park, take photos, and just take in the sheer beauty of this area. Beautiful, huh? Next, we drove by an outcropping called Mushroom Rock. It's one of the coolest parts of the drive because of its unique roundabout. We then arrived at the stairs. It's one of the more technical and challenging sections of the Broken Arrow off-road trail. 
This section has many boulders, hence the name, the stairs. When we were at the top of the hill, it was so steep that you couldn't even see the road ahead of you until you began to descend. This was a very fun drive down and one of my favorite parts of the trail. Once we reached the bottom of the stairs, we turned left and retraced our way back to the beginning of the trail. This was an amazing rock crawling experience with awesome views. It's a great way to experience Sedona in a different way and we highly recommend Pink Jeep Tours and the Broken Arrow Trail. Just a reminder, if you enjoy our content and find it useful, we would truly appreciate it if you can give us a big thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button. It helps the YouTube algorithm spread the video out to other outdoor enthusiasts just like you and I. Hiking is one of the best things to do in Sedona and the West Fork Trail offers a great experience away from the overcrowded hikes closer to town. The West Fork Trail hike is about 3.1 miles each way along the deep, narrow forested canyon surrounded by beautiful red rocks and plenty of wildlife. It includes 13 stream crossings, so expect your feet to get a little wet. The hike starts you through a walk through a fern and wildflower meadow just south of the parking area, then enters you into a narrow corridor of trees alongside Oak Creek. You then come upon a really cool footbridge that crosses you over the creek, and once you go over the creek through another field, you come upon the ruins of the old Mayhew Lodge. It's a group of buildings from the early 20th century which operated as a hunting and fishing lodge until 1968. Most of the lodge was destroyed by a fire in the 1980s leaving just a few stone walls, a chimney stack, and floors from the main structure. As you continue along into the canyon it narrows and you get a beautiful view of the towering sandstone walls. We arrived at the very first creek crossing, which was such a peaceful area. Unfortunately, due to the heavy rains in the winter, the creek, which is normally about ankle high, was now slightly above knee high, and we decided not to cross and headed back to the vehicle. This is definitely a hike that we would like to do whenever we return to Sedona. Bell Rock is one of the most iconic rock formations in Sedona. And it's one of the first things you'll see as you're driving in on Highway 179. It's just off the side of the road and it's a great place to stop, enjoy the views, and even take a hike. It's very clear how it received its name. It looks like a giant red bell melting into the landscape. And it also happens to be that right next door there's another amazing rock formation called Courthouse Butte, making the surrounding area very photogenic. There are a few trails that go around near the base of Bell Rock, as well as one that leads you onto the rock itself. It's a popular first stop for visitors upon arrival, so the trails get pretty busy. The Bell Rock pathway is about 3.6 miles. Along the pathway, you'll enjoy fantastic views of Bell Rock, Courthouse Butte, and other fantastic landmarks. Most of the pathway has a wide, hard surface, but there are some steep hills too. It's a beautiful hike, especially if you get up early in the morning and beat those crowds.
We sure enjoyed visiting Sedona, Arizona, and we hope that we've motivated you to come out and visit on your own. Please join us next time as we drive south of the border down to Baja, Mexico's wine country, Valle de Guadalupe. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up below. And while you're down there, you'll see the comment section. If any of you have any questions about things to do in the area, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, now's the time to do so. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that notification bell to ensure that you don't miss any future episodes of Airstream Expeditions. So, until next time, my name is Julio, and I remind you all that now's the time to get out and explore. Explore! We're here at the Bell Rock Pathway, a short 0.8 mile uh, trail out and back. We're here at the Bell Rock Pathway, a short 0.8 We're here at the Bell Rock Pathway, a short 0.8 mile trek out and back. <laughs>